Say you had a really hard landing and you got a kink in your tube. Can you fix it? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at apogeerockets.com. Um, I've gone ahead and sanded right around the perimeter of the rocket where my, my band is going to go. Um, I prefer that the, uh, the epoxy grip right into the tube rather than into the paint. Even though it's all the way around, um, I think you'll get better results um, by doing it that way. I've gone ahead and mixed up my epoxy. Um, I've got some plastic for my table. And what I'm going to do is just put this epoxy onto my piece and then I'm going to spread it around. Um, for this, I have a little piece of plastic. You can use something like a credit card or something like that um, just to spread it around, make it nice and even. You can see that's working pretty good. Um, you got to be careful of the edges. Like I said, they do fray on you. Um, while um, I was making the epoxy, I did find another piece of fiberglass. Um, this is a thinner piece of fiberglass and I've sprayed this with some yellow fluorescent paint. It doesn't have to be yellow. It could be any color you want. And you can see that it really stiffens it up a little bit um, so that you don't get the fraying problem. And that's all it's for is to prevent that fraying on the edges. Okay, so I got that. Okay, um, now I do want to get some on the tube right in the same spot because I want it to grip really well. This is the messy part that uh, the reason that a lot of people don't like using fiberglass and epoxy because it's just, it is messy. Like I said, have lots of paper towels and rubbing alcohol available for cleanup. See this red part right here is where it was kinked, where I kinked it on purpose. <laughs> Now all the strength comes from the fiberglass, not the epoxy. So you want to limit the amount of epoxy that you put on. But uh, yes, this is going to be the hard part. Because the fibers, they just want to stretch. See you all know, that stuff hanging there. So. I'm going to start where my kink is, um, right there, put it down. Wrap it around. Okay, so I got two layers over the kink and then one layer over everything else. And then I got this big old mess right there. That's ugly. Okay, so now um, I want to clean up just a hair because <laughs> I feel so sticky. Epoxy goes everywhere, gets on everything. So you have to be really careful. It goes on your tube where you don't want it to. Take 
this and just get it out of the way. Okay, so now um, you can leave it harden just like this. Um, but what I like to do is I like to find some thin plastic sheet. Uh, what works well is if you go to the grocery store in the produce section and they give you the bags to put in your, your vegetables, and it's like the thinnest plastic available. That's kind of like what this is. Um, and I'm gonna wrap this around it as well and try to smooth out any wrinkles as you're putting it on. And this will peel right off because it doesn't stick to the epoxy. And the purpose of this is to kind of even out the epoxy. So when you put the epoxy on, you're gonna have high points and low points, you know, like little hills and valleys. Um, and by putting the plastic on, you can smooth it out with your fingers without touching the epoxy. So you don't need to go about around but money one time and then cut it off. It's still sticky to my fingers. <laughs> And if you really want to cinch this down, one of the tricks that I've used before, I won't do it here um, because this one's not that important to me, uh, but you can take a long strip of plastic and wrap it around and pull it tight. Um, I've used old VHS videotape. You know, you're never watching that stuff anymore. So you can take that and then just wrap that spiral, wind it around this area and you can really cinch it down. And what that does again, is it evens out the epoxy um, and really pushes the, the fiberglass down against the tube. Because as I said, it's the fiberglass that gives it the strength. So I am going to let this harden and then uh, we'll come back and we'll peel off the plastic and we'll call it a day. <laughs> so uh, this is a good time to clean up and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll be back after this hardens. Um, it's now the next day and I'm gonna peel off my plastic and you can see how easily that comes right up. And now structurally at this point, it's hard as a rock. Um, and so basically at this point, it's just now fixing the cosmetics. The unfortunate thing when you're wrapping with fiberglass like this um, is that it's thicker here than at the rest of the tube. So it's never going to be perfect. Um, the only way to make it perfect would be to fiberglass the entire tube so everything is at the same height, but that takes a lot of work. Um, so yeah, the best thing that you probably might do is to create some decals to kind of hide the repair that you did. When, you're, when you sand it down, be careful not to sand into the glass cloth because that's gonna weaken it, obviously. Um, it does, it's not smooth, um, so it, it's going to take a little sanding. You might want to put um, some filler on it. Again, that Tamiya putty would work. Um, some um, spot glazing putty uh, for auto body work, that works as well. Um, or um, anything that you might use for sealing fins um, to seal the grain of wood, that would also work as well. Um, so those are the three ways that you can use to repair a body tube that has been kinked. Um, this one is the hardest way. Um, it's probably my least favorite because it's a little bit harder um, and you don't get a nice smooth surface on it. Um, and then previously uh, we showed, you know, putting the coupler inside when there was a, a a crease right there, or you can put strakes on your rocket like this one here um, to 
reinforce that area and make it stronger than it was originally. And it also gives the rocket a little character, uh, makes it look different, makes it look a little bit more appealing. And then you paint it up and it looks really great. So thanks for watching. I know this has been a long video. Um, if you have questions, be, feel free to put your questions in the comments. Um, you can also contact us through the Apogee website. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com. So may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.